Hi everyone, it's Graphics Couch Slayer Gamer. In this video, I'm reviewing the ASUS A9600SE, which was first released in October 2003. This GPU is going in a Windows XP professional system that I have that has a Pentium 4 3GHz Prescott CPU and 2GB of DDR400 RAM. I'm going to be using this graphics card to play some retro games on, such as Need for Speed Underground because it does not work on Windows 10 64-bit. The first game that I'm going to be testing is Counter-Strike Warzone. This played alright, achieving an average FPS of 46 and a minimum of 29. The max was 61, but it had V-Sync turned on. The resolution was 640 by 480 and all of the settings were on lowest. Counter-Strike Warzone was quite difficult to play because as a competitive online first person shooter, a higher frame rate is beneficial. The low screen resolution didn't help making it hard to tell apart enemies and teammates. However, this GPU held up well considering this game was released almost 10 years after the 9600 SE. This game is alright overall in terms of playability, just don't expect to be doing as well as you could be with this GPU. Next is Plants vs Zombies which is not a very demanding game and ran extremely well on this older hardware. This is a game that I have completed on this system already and throughout the game it runs excellently, even with some of the later levels having far more going on. Although the GPU came out half a decade before Plants vs Zombies did, it exceeds all of the minimum system requirements. Need for Speed Underground was released one month after this graphics card and runs quite well on medium settings at 1024 by 768 resolution. I think that the average 47 frames per second with V-Sync enabled is good for this game and is very playable. For some reason the audio that I captured in this game was very garbled so I didn't include it. Next I tested Halo Combat Evolved and despite being released towards the end of 2001, it was not a good experience on this system. I was running this game at the resolution of 640 by 480 at the lowest settings. While playing I noticed that the game would crash occasionally, especially when I tried to capture the footage, which is why I didn't get much for this game. Age of Empires from 1997 runs incredibly well with this graphics card. For some reason though, Fraps leaves a strange trail behind it and is for some reason visible in the footage. Age of Empires is a DirectX 5 game for which the minimum GPU requirements are an SVGA card with 1MB of video RAM, so the 9600 SE is actually very much overkill for this game. I ran both the 2D graphics mark and 3D graphics mark performance benchmarks in performance test 8.0 evaluation version and graphed my results. The benchmarks that I ran compared the 9600SE to 6 more modern GPUs. As expected the 9600SE did quite poorly when compared to more modern GPUs apart from in graphics 2D Windows interface where it held up really well considering its age. 3D graphics however is where older cards like this really suffer. As shown on the graph, this card can barely run 3D graphics. In conclusion, while the A9600SE may not be able to keep up with modern GPUs in almost every aspect, it has one selling point for me, and that is its retro gaming ability. It can run almost any game that is the same age or older than it, and a lot more modern ones too. 
Windows XP Professional Service Pack 3 32-bit was the operating system of choice for this episode, being what was current when this GPU was released and also having fantastic support for older 32-bit games. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel, and please leave a suggestion in the comments for a future video. Thank you for watching.